a great virtual lab from Glencoe MH Education and it allows you to look at a pathometer. Um, so if you are learning from home or you're not getting a chance to do your practical work then this is a great way of um, investigating different environmental factors in plant transpiration. Now Glencoe are a great uh, website and there's lots of quizzes and information on there and they do these virtual labs. For the virtual labs to work you need to have Flash Player enabled. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at these different plants in different environmental conditions. So we'll have them in normal room conditions then that we can use a heater, a fan or a lamp. There is a table down here that you can finally put your results in and then print it off and a journal which has some questions in it as well. So if we take each of these plants individually, so here we go, what you do is you pick the plant up and you put it into the pathometer. This is a coleus. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how many millilitres of water are taken up by the pathometer in a virtual hour. Now if you've watched my video already on transpiration and pathometers, this, you, this should be clear about how you set it up and so all we're doing now is collecting the results. So we start the clock and after an hour 0.9 millilitres of water have been taken up in an hour. So now we can test it with a heater. So here we go, you can see the temperature rising and that was 3.9 millilitres with the heater. So now we can swap it for the fan. So this is um, producing wind for wind environment to see if there was wind outside, what effect would it have on the loss of water. And so we get 6 millilitres, so we need to record that. and then we replace it with a lamp. So this is changing the light intensity and we get three millilitres for that. So now we can change, put that back, put it back. And we can get a different plant. So this is a rubber plant this time. So we need to record rubber plant. And in normal conditions, that's 4.9 millilitres. With a heater, six point eight. with a fan eight point four and with the lamp so in normal conditions it was four point nine when you increase the temperature then that's going to increase the evaporation rate out of the leaves because the water is going to have more kinetic energy, so it will um, evaporate more rapidly. So that was 6.8. With a fan, which is bringing in dry air and removing the humid air, it will be 8.4. And with a lamp, which is increasing the light intensity, it's 4.3. Okay, so let's bring this one in. Stefan Bakia. So in normal conditions, it's 4.1 millilitres. So if we increase the temperature to 27 degrees, we get 6.0 millilitres with a fan. 7.7 and with the lamp 3.9 millilitres and finally the zebra plant
So in normal conditions, it's 4.2. If we increase the temperature, it goes to 6.1. When you put the fan in, you get 7.6 and then with the lamp it's 3.2 so now we have those results and I've got some from earlier as well we've got the coleus 0.9 with a fan 6.0 with a heater 3.9 and with the lamp 3.0 Then we did the DEF from back here, so that was 4.1 with a fan, 7.7 .7 with a heater, 6.0 and with a lamp, 3.0. Then with the English ivy we didn't do, we did the rubber plant. Rubber plant for normal it was 4.9 with a fan 8.4 with a heater 6.8 and with a lamp 4.3 and then we did the zebra plant normal was 4.2 with a fan it was 7.6 with a heater it was 6.1 and with a lamp of 3.2 And one other that I did earlier was the Devil's Ivy, which was 2.9. With a fan, it was 4.6. With a heater, it was 4.1. And with a lamp, it was 3.0. One more that I have done is the Weeping Fig. So that's 3.3. 6.1 and 2.5 so as you can see here the lamp isn't having the greatest effect I think the greatest effect overall is with the fan but what you can do is you can plot these onto a graph um, to compare or you can take the means as well. So plotting onto a graph gives you a clear show how um, these different environmental conditions affect the loss of water by transpiration through a plant.